data quality engineers play a pivotal role in ensuring the reliability of data across systems. In today's competitive job market, employers are looking for professionals who can tackle real-world data challenges effectively. Here are five key interview questions that assess both technical skills and problem-solving abilities required for this role. Let's go over. So the first scenario is related to identifying data quality gaps. The question is something like this. You are given a data set with missing values, duplicate entries, and incorrect data formats. How would you identify and address these issues? This is how I choose to answer. When faced with a data set containing missing values, duplicate entries, and incorrect data formats, the first step I take is thorough data profiling. This involves analyzing the data set to understand its characteristics. I use SQL queries or profiling tools to identify missing values, duplicates, and inconsistencies in data formats. Based on the profiling results, I define data quality rules and assess the current state of data quality. This involves establishing acceptable thresholds for these missing values and data accuracy. I collaborate with business stakeholders to define acceptable thresholds in this phase. Next, I conduct the root cause analysis and understand the origin of these issues. This may involve investigating data quality of upstream sources, identifying any errors in data transformations, for example, incorrect calculations or data type conversions, etc., and checking for issues during data loading, like data truncation or any missing values, etc. So based on this root cause analysis, I collaborate with my dev team to implement appropriate data cleansing solutions. After cleansing, I revalidate the data against the defined rules to ensure the cleansing process was effective. Finally, I establish continuous monitoring of data quality metrics using dashboards. By tracking key metrics like completeness, accuracy, consistency, uniqueness, and timeliness, I can quickly identify and address emerging issues before they impact downstream systems. This end-to-end -end approach, right from profiling to data quality monitoring, ensures that the data set is not only fixed, but also stays reliable for future use. Next scenario-based question is something related to data pipeline failure. The question is around, what steps would you take if the data pipeline fails during peak business hours? My answer to that? Well, in this case, my first priority is to understand the impact. I quickly identify which downstream systems depend on this data to assess the potential consequences of the failure. Next, I focus on the extent of the issue by comparing current data quality metrics like completeness and accuracy to pre-failure baselines. I can determine the specific areas where the data has been impacted. While assessing the damage, I work closely with the engineering team to identify the root cause. This involves reviewing logs, analyzing patterns to pinpoint the source of the problem. While the engineers work on the technical aspects, I focus on prioritizing critical data because not all data have the same urgency. So I help prioritize the data elements that are most critical for business continuity, ensuring that high impact areas are addressed first. Once the issue is addressed by dev and the pipeline is back up and running, I ensure the data quality is comparable with pre-failure ones. Throughout this process, I make sure stakeholders are informed with regular updates on the situation, the impact on operations, and the progress towards resolution. My ultimate goal is to minimize disruption, restore the pipeline as quickly as possible, and ensure the delivery of high quality data to all stakeholders. Next scenario is related to validating large data sets. 
How do you ensure data accuracy when validating large data sets with millions of rows? See, in this case, you can ask follow-up questions that shows your curiosity and attention to detail. The valid follow-up questions back to the interviewer are, where do the source and target data reside? Are they both in database or in different systems? You can answer based on the response from the interviewer and that's something like this. If both source and target data reside within the same database, I would leverage the database's capabilities for efficient validation. My approach is to find the record count comparison where I would start by comparing the total number of records in the source and target tables. Any discrepancy in the record counts immediately indicates a potential data loss or duplication issues. And I would calculate checksums for key columns or the entire data set in both source and target. Comparing these checksums provides a quick and efficient way to detect any discrepancies in the data. To further validate the data, I would perform data aggregation tests. This involves summarizing the data using aggregate functions like average, count, on key dimensions. For example, the sample SQL is around select store, average of sales, average of quantity, and count of orders from store sales table grouped by store column. Here, store is the dimension, whereas the sales, quantity, and orders can be considered as facts. By comparing the aggregated results from the source and target tables using this kind of a query, I can quickly identify any inconsistencies in data summarization. This approach significantly reduces the data volume for comparison while still providing valuable insights into data accuracy. Also, I would perform a more granular comparison using a minus query with a sample data to identify any records that exist in one table but not the other. This helps pinpoint specific instances of missing or extra data. This is my approach if the source and target data exist in that same database. If the source and target data reside in different systems, I would leverage scripting languages for automated validation. I would utilize Python with libraries like Pandas, PyODBC, and SQL Alchemy to connect to both source and target systems. I would extract relevant data from both the sources using appropriate connectors like JDBC or ODBC. After extracting the data, I would apply validation rules like type checks or business constraints and compare the data sets. By automating the validation process, I ensure accurate and efficient validation of even the largest data sets that reside in different systems. Next one is related to working with third-party data. And the question is, a third-party data provider delivers inconsistent data. How would you manage this? When dealing with inconsistent data from a third-party provider, I would take a structured and collaborative approach. First, I would analyze and categorize the issues. Are there any missing values, duplicate records, or perhaps inconsistent formats like multiple date styles? I'd use SQL queries or data profiling tools to generate a report summarizing the problems. Once I have a clear understanding of the issue, I would engage with the provider to share specific examples and discuss the impact of inconsistencies on our operations. While the provider works to improve their data processes, I would ensure to have robust data validation techniques in place. For example, I use schema validation and rule-based checks to catch errors upon data ingestion and set up automated alerts to flag data quality issues early. And I would work with the provider to define measurable service level agreements for data quality, including acceptable thresholds for errors or missing values, timelines for addressing reported issues. Finally, I would monitor subsequent data deliveries to ensure improvements. If issues persist, I'd escalate to management. By combining detailed analysis, strong collaboration, and proactive validation, 
I would ensure we address these inconsistencies efficiently and minimize their impact on business processes. Last but not least, how do you monitor data quality? See, there are multiple ways you can implement. So there is no single answer. I'll take Snowflake as an example to answer this question. You might want to use it different if you are not experienced in Snowflake. Here is my response. I would leverage the capabilities of Snowflake and set up a dashboard that provides real-time visibility into key metrics. I would start by identifying the critical metrics to monitor completeness, accuracy, timeliness, uniqueness, and schema compliance. I'd create SQL-based checks within Snowflake to validate data quality using count checks, null checks to detect missing data. And I write duplicate queries using group by and having count star greater than one. And I also apply regular expressions to ensure field formats, example, email fields or date fields. I automate these checks using Snowflake tasks to run periodically. Using SnowSight, I'd create an interactive dashboard displaying trends in data quality metrics over time. Along with this, I display error rates by dataset, alerts for threshold breaches, like missing values greater than 5%. And I use Snowflake streams and tasks, which monitor data changes and trigger notification for any thresholds. Like it sends us an email or a Slack alert if duplicates are detected or any error rates rise. I'd regularly review metrics on dashboard and adjust validation rules as necessary to meet evolving business needs. So by leveraging Snowflake's capabilities, I can ensure real-time, scalable, and efficient monitoring of data quality while providing stakeholders with reliable insights. So this is my response using Snowflake as a technology. If you want to use any others like SQL Server on any other traditional databases, then you can integrate a visualization tool like a Power BI or a Tableau to your database to create these kind of a dashboards to have a visualization and continuous monitoring of data. So to wrap up, these interview questions are designed to evaluate your ability to handle data quality challenges, right from identifying gaps in data to managing third-party inconsistencies. By demonstrating your technical expertise, strategic thinking, and collaboration skills, you'll show you are ready to make an impactful contribution as a data quality engineer. I hope this helps. Feel free to comment for any questions.